Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex the Comic Quarter. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for clicking on this video. This is a collection video and um, I've got an entire collection. I've got the entire run of Miss Marvel and I was wondering what is an awesome way to share this with everybody besides um, YouTube, which I'm going to show all these books, but I found this app and it's called Snups. It's an app for collectors and it's a way that you can organize and share your stuff online. What separates this from other online social medias is that you can organize into shelves. So you can organize into collections. So if you have a coin collection, you can organize a shelf of all your coins. If you've got a comic collection or say Miss Marvel collection, you can organize and make a shelf individually for Miss Marvel. And um, so this is the app. Sorry, old technology, um, old guy here. I don't, um, I don't know how to integrate this onto my screen at the same time as I'm, I'm filming this. So you go to your app store and you um, download Snups. It's the app. Once you've got that app downloaded, you'll see that little puppy right there. And you want to just log in and create an account. So here's the main page right there. And then you can also go to Explore. So that icon is the main page. That icon is Explore. Here's a group that I created for us, for us comic book community. And um, it's really it's really for um, comic book enthusiasts, people who want to share their collection online. Um, and so that is the group that I've created. We've got five people so far. Some people that you may recognize in this group are myself, obviously, Alex the Comic Hoarder. We've got four-way flashers is in this group. Uh, we have Ace, who's a buddy of mine uh, locally who I get books from. We've got Shoot First and Live is on this. And we've created shelves. So this is Shoot First and Live. He, Live he's created a shelf of comic books for us to look at. Four-Way Flashers has created a um, Strange Tales collection that you can look at. I've created uh, comic books where I'm going to throw in random comic books. Uh, that I like that don't necessarily fit into any collection of mine, and then also um, a Golden Age collection. So if you wanted to go look at this shelf of mine, Golden Age collection, you can go in and look. You can go in and check everything out. You can push this wow button. That's kind of like the like or the love button for other social medias. And let's go back and see go back and see this four ways. So you'll notice that you cannot edit um, four way flashers. You cannot edit his, um, his shelf, but I can go in and add stuff to my shelf. So I go into my comic book shelf. I can go in and add a picture to that, but let me show you guys real quick. I've created a Miss Marvel. I've created a Miss Marvel page. And I want to add the very last book because I've loaded everything in except for that very last book. And you guys can go in here and check out uh, what I've put. So I go in there and I go to my pictures and I want to add the very last book. So I add that in, push done up here in the corner. And now I'm able to see what I've selected, push next. And then I can add my title description. So let me, I've already created something. I've already copied and pasted it. So this is the very last issue in Miss Marvel. And it is 22, I believe. Let me just double check. 23. I was wrong. 23. So once, there's no real significance, but I'm going to put last issue. Okay, you see that? And now I'm going to push done. And now... See, that showed up at the very top. I want that at the very bottom. So all I have to do is click on it until it kind of glows and go move all the way down to the bottom of my page here, to the bottom of my shelf. And now I can add that in at the very end. So now there it is. So that's what this is, you guys. This is an awesome way to share books. Now you guys can go in and you can say, okay, what does that cover look like? What does that book that Alex was talking about look like? The first appearance of Deathbird. You can go in there and look at that. 
And I always put, I try to put the overstreet, the overstreet, uh, like kind of definition of that book. So Miss Marvel number nine, first appearance of Deathbird. Let's go look at another one. Here we go. Miss Marvel 16, first cameo appearance of Mystique. So there it is, you guys. Download Snups. Join me on Snups. My page is called Alex the Comic Quarter. And then the group that I created where we can all share our shelves is called Comic Book Community. But without further ado, here is the Miss Marvel uh, run that I've completed. This is a great run for you guys to complete because it is attainable. Um, here are a few copies of Miss Marvel number one. Absolutely love this book. It's the first appearance of Miss Marvel. And so not the first appearance of Carol Danvers. That was in, I think, Marvel Super Heroes Captain Marvel number 13. And so this is Miss Marvel number one. The first appearance of Miss Marvel. There's you got the Spider Family over on this side. You've got Scorpion. So really awesome stuff. Really great book. This is number two. This is the origin of Miss Marvel. And I really love that she's still battling uh, the Scorpion there. Miss Marvel number three, Death is the Doomsday Man. So this is just a beautiful cover as well. Miss Marvel number three from 1976. Uh, oh my gosh, I need to go back and correct that because I put 77 run. Miss Marvel number four. I put 77 run, but this it, lo it appears that this run ran from 1976 through 1978, I believe. We can confirm that here in a little bit as well. Miss Marvel number four. So this is one of those, um, in, the, in the mid to late 70s, they're like, um, like Miss Marvel, I know Count Von Strange just did his, um, his finished his collection for um, Nova, which is awesome. These are very attainable runs. Miss Marvel number five, appearance of Vision. So crossover with Vision. Number six, Miss Marvel is getting like super pressed over this dude's head. It's grotesque. Number seven, crossover with Modoc. Number eight. So these are like, um, yeah, find one of these runs in the 70s. Really great Bronze Age books. And uh, like Eternals. Um, Inhumans only had 10 books, I believe. There are a few expensive ones in here. This one won't be too expensive. It's the first appearance of Deathbird. But it's one of the minor keys in this run. Number 10, once again, with Modoc. Number 11. But it's really fun, fun to like go dig through these uh, back issues. And uh, when you're collecting a run, one thing that I really like when you're collecting a run is this book may not be anything. It's Miss Marvel number 12. But if you're looking for it to complete your run, it is the world to you. You know, like you're flipping through the back issues and you find the first appearance of, of Carol Danvers. And you're like, wow, that's really special. But when you're collecting a run, you find Miss Marvel number 12, you need it for your run, and that is really special. Number 13, really awesome. I love the 70s uh, swoop there on her hair. Number 14, I think she should go back to that. I think that's why people don't like her too much these days. It's because she doesn't, she went away with the, away from the swoop and went for the short haircut. Miss Marvel 15. I think it's all about the, the haircut. So these now work to um, some of the keys. Miss Marvel 16. This is the first cameo of Mystique. First appearance in cameo of Mystique. And this was, I think, the, the book that started it all for me for this collection. Got that book and I was like, wow, I need all of these books. Miss Marvel 17. This was the last book that I needed to complete this and I got it gifted from Master X Splinter. So thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Thanks for helping me complete this collection. Miss Marvel number 18, first full appearance of Mystique. This 17 is a brief appearance of Mystique in cameo. And this is the first full appearance and crossover from the Avengers. <clears throat> number 19, 
This is a uh, Captain Marvel crossover, Captain Marvel crossover. So there it is, and that's from 1978. 1978, this is Miss Marvel number 20 trying to revitalize this line. They gave her a new costume and kind of revamped the artwork there on the title. So Miss Marvel number 20. Miss Marvel number 21, another beautiful where this, uh, these like s place of the serpents are uh, like, it looks like their temple is being like destroyed. So Miss Marvel number 21, two last books. The Return of Deathbird, Miss Marvel 22, getting kicked in the face. And last book in that collection, in that run, Miss Marvel 23. Now there is a Miss Marvel, and I also have another copy of 18. There is a um, Marvel Superheroes, I believe, that completed this storyline, but I do not have that. So that is something that I'm gonna be looking for. But as far as the Miss Marvel run goes, that's it. That is the collection. Now I've got it on my snups so you guys can go in and look at each of these covers individually. Uh, you can like them. You can comment on them and let me know what you think. Um, you can comment on if, if you've had those. And also, most importantly, you can join snups and you can share your collections with me. There's no better way to enjoy snups than to share it with your friends. Uh, the more people we get into this community, the better it will be. So I, I, uh, there, there'll be links in the description below. So click on those links, join the app, join the community, and let's have an awesome time sharing our collection. So anyways, hopefully y'all are well, and I'll talk to y'all soon. See ya. Bye.